Global production of cassava is forecast to reach 275 million metric tons by 2020. At present, Africa accounts for 57% of global output. Ghana is the number two producer of cassava in Africa and the fifth largest in the world. The cassava value chain in Ghana comprises of a range of stakeholders including cassava root farmers, aggregators, producers, processors, exporters and transporters as well as companies that provide support services. Over 70% of smallholder farmers in the country are engaged in cassava cultivation. Virtually every rural community has got a portion of land to grow cassava. And there are a lot of varieties which have been developed by CSIR and then RTIP, which we are not taking advantage of. Why? Because the sufficiency of the system, we just grow to eat, not looking at how we're going to process it into other forms of raw material for other industries. Within the Adi Ibrahim, the family advice farms. We were a full number 15 acres. 15 acres, you know. Uh, every one acre be a year, you have a two times a year. One acre be a year, you have a five tons. In 2018, cassava production totaled 20.8 million metric tons. Cassava is one of the five priority crops earmarked for promotion in Ghana's medium-term agriculture sector investment program, which details the roadmap for the comprehensive African agricultural development program in the country. I'm John Eji Makese, the MD of Josma Agro Industry. I had a visit to Brazil that was sponsored by Aritip, so it's government and then IFAD program. And I saw how they were also working very hard on cassava. We were doing only gari and the, just the peels and the starch on a small scale. But then when we came back, Aritip trained us to do HQCF. We, we produced this for quite a few schools and companies who needed it. But we didn't progress on it because our capacity was very low. Big companies came here, some took our products outside to check on its quality. And it turned out our quality was good because we, we were doing it the proper way. But then we had a very low capacity to produce the HQCF. So the big companies that needed uh, bigger supplies came, appreciated our work, but never came back for supply because we couldn't meet their demands. So my name is Chris Quashi. I'm the founder and acting managing director of Caltech Ventures. Caltech stands for Cassava Accor Technology. We process cassava into ethanol and carbon dioxide. The primary free stock is cassava because it's the cheapest source of starch for our purposes. For me, cassava then is, is the transformational crop. Apart from ethanol, carbon dioxide, you can do over 50 industrial products from glucose to starch, uh, sorbitol, to biodegradable plastics, modified starch. I mean, it's a whole slew of products which cassava can produce. And uh, Ghana has a comparative advantage in terms of our ability to grow cassava at a cost which is competitive globally. And we have a surplus of cassava for food. We have 17 million tons of cassava produced every year, out of which we eat about five or six million tons. So we have about 11, 12 million tons sitting there, which can be processed into industrial products. Cassava exports have fluctuated in recent years in both value and volume terms. For example, ethanol exports increased from 2.6 million in 2012 to 22.5 million in 2015, but fell sharply to $7.4 million in 2017. Meanwhile, Gary exports slumped from $2.9 million in 2012 to $75,000 in 2014, but recovered to $3 million in 2017. Ghana's major export trade partners are France, Germany, Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, China, the Republic of Korea, and the United States of America. In general, trade opportunities exist for cassava products, However, Ghanaian exporters have not been able to take full advantage of this potential. The opportunities in the cassava value chain is enormous. There are uh, opportunities such as people might 
not show interest only in the chips, but show interest in the starchy aspect of it and other byproducts of cassava. Even quite recently, somebody even proposed to me the skin, the dry skin of the cassava, even the ones. But all these things comes with liquidities and how you organize yourself well. So cassava, I think, has a good future. The interest rates in Ghana range from 12 to 30 percent. Several financing models have been established with the aim of reducing the interest burden on agriculture sector value chain stakeholders. In the cassava value chain, if you look at the producers, I mean those who cultivate cassava, under the cassava enterprise project, Ghana Ezin Bank is providing medium to long term funding for them to be able to cultivate the cassava and supply to processes. Under the Cassava Enterprise Project, 12 beneficiaries have been financed to do that. Now, secondly too, we provide long-term funding for those who are setting up factories to either produce ethanol, to produce starch or high-quality cassava flour. We provide them long-term funding up to six to seven years, sometimes even eight years, to be able to set up the factory, have a, a, a nucleus farm, and then be also provide them some working capital to be able to operate. Now, thirdly, in the cassava value chain, those who are already producing and have export orders for their starch, for all the other cassava derivatives, and will need working capital funding. We have a facility called Export Trade Facility. Under this facility, working capital funding are available for them to be able to meet those export orders. I won't say Ghana Ezin Bank has enough to fully finance the cassava, the entire cassava value chain, due to the size of the industry and then the huge export potential. But our CEO, Mr. Lawrence Ajinsam, is currently the chairperson for Global network of ESIN and international development organizations and through that he's been able to establish good network with international organizations who are interested in supporting the cassava value chain. Currently we have a such relationship with Thai ESIN Bank. We are looking at collaborating with them to provide the necessary funding to the cassava value chain. How would the collaboration be? Where if clients want to import machinery from Thailand to be able to process here and they don't have the funding, Ghana Ezin Bank could provide the guarantee whilst the machine is funded by Thai Ezin Bank. This collaboration will enable us to be able to fund the cassava value chain and where we don't do that direct funding, we could provide guarantee, leverage on our partners who have the bigger financial capacity to be able to fully support the cassava sector.